Axis Hour presented by Xerox. That's right. We're having so much fun here in Montreal. I'm, of course, joined by Elena Yankovic. You always look so cute. Thank you very much. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but her eyeliner matches her outfit, and it's very, yeah, very and sweet. Yeah, nails, too. Oh, let's Just show those fun. off. Let's see. Beautiful. For fun. It's of summertime. Course. Why not? Of course. So you've been very busy, actually, during your vacation. I follow you on social media, and you've been putting a lot of really fun vacation picks up. So tell us about that. Yeah, I actually didn't play for three and a half weeks. Uh, first of all, I had an injury with my hip, so I had to do some therapy and recover from that. And then I took one week, uh, you know, to go and just recharge my batteries, just uh, relax and uh, stay on the beach yeah. and uh, have fun. Absolutely. And I think I saw a couple of pictures with you and your mom getting, getting some sun time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice. I enjoyed that very much. I wish I could do it again now. I know. Well, it is a beautiful sunny day, so hopefully you have a little downtime. Uh, so, so many of your fans are here, so many of your fans are watching at home. What would you like to say to them right now? Uh, just to enjoy, um, you know, watching us play and uh, support, you know, the, the tennis players and uh, have fun watching, the, you know, some good tennis. Hopefully, this week here in Rogers Cup. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> applause there. Okay, so we have some fan questions for you. So go ahead and draw one out. From a at AA Cast Floor 10 on Twitter, candies or chocolate? Both. Both? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful I, answer. I totally agree with you, girlfriend. Okay, let's let's draw another one. What kind of question is that? I mean you can <laughs> tell I love sweets. I got a little stomach here. <laughs> oh, you do not. Definitely not. Try you deserve it me. after all those hours yeah. on the court. No, after being on vacation, I gave myself, you know, um, I actually a break and just I enjoy good food, you know, good time. Why not? As you should. That is what vacations are all about. Round of applause for that. Yeah. You enjoy it. Soak it up. <laughs> Next question. From Katarina Krajevic on Facebook, how many hours a day do you train for a tournament? Um, before I came here, I actually spent quite a, f you know, a lot of hours on court. I spent three, four hours on the tennis court and one hour in the gym. So quite a lot of hours in the sun trying to get ready because, like I said, I had an injury. So there was not a lot of time to get ready. And, um, you know, I did the best I could, you know, to get back in shape and, and feel good for, for um, you know, the U.S. Open Series. Yeah, and how are you feeling physically now? Now I feel fresh, you know, mentally and, and physically, and I worked hard um, to get toned again, <laughs> um, get fit. You know, I was dying on the practice court. It's, it's not easy after not doing anything for, you know, quite a few weeks. It's unbelievable how quickly you lose it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we do so much work, and then you stop for a couple of weeks, it, and then you come back on the court, you feel like you never played the sport it's before. So true. And you just get so loose, and so it's, I'm like, what's yeah, going on? Absolutely. But. Okay, so let's get another one. We're glad to see you back in full force, by the way. Blank. Oh, that we have a blank question. All right. No question. Night, just to keep you I on your toes. Yeah, <laughs> That's your favorite question of the day. That's funny. Okay. I can't read those things, you know, from at oh, tennis. No. From, from lover tennis lover seven, seven on Twitter. What is your favorite city in the world? Uh, Rome. Rome, okay. And why would you say Rome? We got some shout outs from the fans there. Um, I love Italians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Italian so. men, boys would probably be in there. Um, I love the, the, you know, the, it's such a historical, you know, a city. Um, you know, there's so many things to do there. I love the food. Um, and I played so well at the, you know, Italian Open. So I have always great experiences there. Amazing. All right, let's grab another one. I know Italian food. Wow, that's like definitely one of my favorites of visiting. So good. From at John Lejour on Twitter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you plan on playing the Olympics in Brazil? Please say yes. Um, you know, I'm 29 now, so I'll be 31. When hopefully, you know, I'll I'll make it to the Olympics. Um, it would be so much fun. I I played. Olympic Games for, you know, I think uh, three times and uh, it would be, uh, you know, awesome. I would love to and uh, hopefully I will. I, hopefully I can make it there. Absolutely. We hope to see you there. So we're going to break it up a little bit. I know you are an absolute pro at tennis, but we're going to have you test your skills at air hockey. 
because of course hockey is a big deal here in Canada as much as tennis. I don't so. Have any <laughs> idea about hockey. All right, so you later you're going to pick one lucky fan from the audience here. Pick Who's who wants to play air hockey against you later? I think he does. Head, huh? He's going to kick your butt. Come on out with the glasses there. Yeah, you. All right, so come on over. So, Elena, you can you can take the what side do you like? Which side do you feel lucky? That side? All right, come on over. What's <laughs> Come on over. So, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Alex. Alex. Okay, Alex. So step on over. How does it feel to be playing uh, playing a little game against Elaine? Are you nervous? I don't know. I'm kind of speechless at the moment. So uh, <laughs> this is uh, it's not a joke. Uh, well, the good news is, is you don't have to speak. You just have to play. All right. All right cool. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna give you 90 seconds, and all you have to do is see whoever can win the most goals in 90 seconds. All right. So Andy, my producer, is going to have the clock started. And here we go in three, two, one, action, go. <laughs> is it even working? Is this, this is not working. Is it working? Oh, there's no air. Oh. Well, we can improvise. Can we just hit it really hard and see what happens? How much time do we have left? One minute left. One to zero. Oh, dude, she's crushing you. Come on. <laughs> All right. How much time? Two to zero. 30 seconds on the clock. You're getting tough now. This game is rigged. Ten seconds, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, in the last second, one to two, Yelena still takes it home. All right, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about your performance on the, on the field today? Oh, it could have been better, but, you know, it is what it is, and that's how life is. I don't know what to say. Just wanted to lift my confidence before the tournament, so thank you for that. <laughs> All right, Elaine, if you could do us the honor and sign the table uh, for us, yeah, sign the table, and we're actually going to get you a little souvenir to take home, oh, a little parting gift as well. So Elena will sign both for you. Where? Yeah, you can sign it anywhere. Really? You're the first one. No, this is this is going to be great. We're going to have all the top seeds sign it today, and of course, all you fans will be walking away with some souvenirs as well. So. We are very excited. Okay, and if you can sign this little water bottle, and then we'll give this to you.